Oh, let's talk about the EAS, since you keep mentioning <laughs> Internal Affairs Service. No less than the head of the EAS has proposed that they should be separate. Because mm. they are in the middle of it, maybe there is a pressure or maybe there is a bias. What's your opinion on this? Yes, I'm a lawyer, so I don't have an opinion. Ko. Okay. No? <laughs> we base it on law. No? Ang nasa batas kasi, ang naging problema ng IAS, yung tinatawag nating adjudicatory powers, the power to punish, no? in, in simple terms, mm -hmm. that is only vested to a disciplinary authority. Who are the disciplinary authority in the PNP? The chief PNP, the regional directors, and in some way, uh, the provincial directors and the chiefs of police. Okay. Meaning to say, kung magkaroon ng ng uh, Conviction. breach of discipline okay. no? or merong uh, pagkakamali sa pag you know, gampanan mo yung papel mo pagiging police. Mm. The chief of police has the authority to punish his personnel 15 days suspension or for feature of pay. Oh, okay. A provincial or city director has 30 days. A regional director has 60 days. Okay. Of course, si chief PNP pwede ng 6 months or so. Mm -hmm. Now, Ang problema sa Internal Affairs Service, when, when a provincial or regional or even national ES investigates, he can only recommend. And this can be overturned yes. mm. by the disciplinary authority, by the regional director, mm. by the provincial director, by the chief PNP. So parang binigyan mo siya ng power to investigate, but in the end, Hanggang doon lang siya. Mm. pwede rin mo baliktad. Mm. Which is why we have this controversy so, on the Nindaka. Yeah. Ano pong solution yeah. short of separating EAS and empowering okay. EAS within it? A very good solution has been... Nag-usap nag kami ni uh, Attorney Triambulo because he's also from Davao. Mm -hmm. I'm from Davao. Sabi ko, let's sit down. There is now a pending resolution to the National Police Commission. In gist, parang ganito mangyari. Lahat ng decision ng EAS, we will treat it as it is. No? Now, kung aggrieved ang police... Kunwari, hindi siya contento na dinismiss siya or uh, dinimote siya. He can appeal to the disciplinary authority. Mm. Meaning? Meaning to say, so, yeah, implement yung, yung yes. automatic yes. ng IAS. Automatic yung recommendation. At, yes. Ang burden uh -huh. of appeal nandun na sa police. Hmm. Yes. So, uh, implement, implement muna yung recommendation yes. and then you appeal. But that is only possible if there's a NAPOLCOM resolution saying that it is so. Resolution no. lang is enough. Yes, because ganito kasi no, sa setup kasi ng National Police Commission, the Secretary of the Interior sits down as mm. the chairman. Chair. No, merong vice chairman, yeah. then merong commissioners. Mm. The chief PNP sits down as an ex-officio commissioner. Mm. He is supposed to be the voice of the PNP in that commission, All right. being a policy-making yeah. body. So ako, sabi ko nga, kahit sana OIC ako, I wanted to have that privilege to sit down mm in that commission so that I can defend the resolutions that we wanted up there in the, in the commission to make things better in the PNP. And one of this is yung sa IAS. So okay. Back to her but question. Yeah. You, you're, Are, do you you're favor a separation or autonomy of the IAS? Or to place it under Napolcom? Ano kasi, uh, kung ako ang tanungin nyo, there are enough powers na hindi na kailangang maghiwalay si IAS mm -hmm. para ma-exercise. Yes. So, ah, ano mo kasi ganito eh. Okay no, but what's the argument to keep them like, to, for hindi, the status quo? Hindi, ganito muna, no? Kasi parang nangyari ngayon, no? just like involved ngayon, si General Bayaldi, who is yes. the chief PNP, mm -hmm. di ba? Parang who will chief the chief PNP? Exactly. No? Who, the IAS cannot do it, no? Yes. But remember, when you make laws, no? when you make laws, when you legislate, you offer stability. Not because that here is a controversy involving the chief PNP and the IAS that you suddenly change everything. It has to undergo certain studies. You just don't change it just because of one controversy. Mm -hmm. You just don't do that mm -hmm. because you have to offer stability to laws. Imagine if there's a controversy, then you change it again. Mm -hmm. and then another controversy, you change it again. Let's sit down and look at it mm -hmm. on a different perspective because... The stability of the law is very important. It's very important. Mm -hmm. All law students would know that. No? Mm -hmm. That's why you can only introduce amendments in law after five years, after ten years, because we should offer stability. And again, I would say, no, napag-usapan na namin yan ni IG, we can give them the powers that they want without even separating them from the PNP. And we'll see, we'll see. No? 
in the next three months, look at us.